so here again at Italy Insurance Forum 2018 uh, with uh, Eduardo Monaco of Axieme and T.I. Sagalov Lemonade. So please introduce to each other T.I. Buongiorno. My name is Ty Sagalov. I'm a founding member of Lemonade and CEO of uh, Innovation Insurance Group. Hi, Ty. My name is Eduardo Monaco. I'm co-founder of uh, Axieme, the first social insurance in Italy. So, Ty, on average, how much time does it take to take out a policy with Lemonade and settle a claim? So it only takes about uh, a minute and a half to take out a policy with Lemonade. It's done on the app or, uh, or online. It's done by way of a chat bot. So there is no traditional insurance form whatsoever. Uh, the only way to submit a claim is on your mobile device. There are no claim forms or is uh, in the traditional sense. Um, you have to do it on your mobile device. And the amount of time it takes to process a claim for simple claims, we've recently uh, won an award, if, if there wasn't a Guinness uh, award for the fastest paying claim. If it's a simple claim, we, which is about 25% of the time, we can pay a claim within three seconds of submitting the claim and hitting the submit button. How much time does it take to settle a claim in Italy, Eduardo? Well, unfortunately, a bit longer than with uh, Lemonade, you know. <laughs> uh, in Italy, the country we live in, you know, insurance companies um, still have a long process to settle a, a claim. It really depends on the litigation, but it can go from a few days to even a few months sometimes. Uh, what's your customer average age uh, at Lemonade? So Lemonade was really created for the millennial um, uh, audience. About 80% uh, uh, of our policyholders are between the age of 25 and 45. About 60% are between uh, 25 and 35. But we are very, very proud of the 10% of our policyholders that are um, over 65. So if you're out there and you're older than 65, please feel free to apply for Lemonade. We really do want to get that 10% up. So, Eduardo, what's your customer average age at Axiemi? Well, it really depends on the type of groups and policy, but on average uh, they are 38 years old. But we have groups where they are 25 to groups that, you know, uh, are a bit older. So, um, TI, what's the percentage of frauds and uh, also satisfied clients with your service? So our, our policy holders are extremely satisfied. Our turnover rate is uh, very, very, very small. And uh, you know we track our customer satisfaction through social networking. Um, and so we track in real time what people say about us. And perhaps uh, the greatest example of the satisfaction of our policy holders is that uh, over a dozen times when uh, a claimant found the item that they thought was lost and they got a claim check for us. They called up the company and said, I found what I had lost. Um, I don't deserve the check you sent me. Can I give it back and how do I do that? That's really phenomenal. In the 35 years that I was in the traditional insurance industry, I can't remember one time a claimant called me up and said, how do I give back the money to you that you incorrectly sent me in a claim? Eduardo, it's your time. So what's the percentage of satisfied clients with Axieme? Well, we assess to the number of satisfied clients to our social media, as you know. You can just uh, connect to our Facebook page to see that they are very satisfied. We are close to the five-star satisfaction. And I think that this mainly related to the fact that our give back is perceived as a very, very fair model to our policy holders. So, in five years, digital insurance will simply be known as insurance. Why? That's because we can't turn back the clock. The old way of doing business through long claim forms, long insurance applications, uh, individual analysis by a person of every claim, no matter how simple and no matter how small, weeks, maybe months before the policyholder would get a check in a covered claim. Those days are going to go by the way of the dinosaur. The use of technology, digital insurance, 
what InsureTech is talking about that will simply be insurance in five years. Well, I don't see the word digital as uh, the opposite of the term analogic. You know, digital is simply improving processes that are already carried out. I mean, who doesn't buy uh, travel online? Who doesn't check for a hotel uh, rate online nowadays? So uh, it's just a matter of improving processes and make it simpler and easier, faster for policy holders. So that's why, I mean, digital insurance is will just be insurance because you know you cannot stop the revolution I mean it's just coming so and that's for the for the good of the policy holders how do you see the future of insurance companies traditional insurance companies I think that the old model of insurance where there's an inherent conflict between the insurance carrier and the policyholder, that for every dollar that is paid, every dollar that is not paid in a claim is another dollar of profit, is a fundamental problem. Now, Lemonade has a solution, and my good friend here also has a solution, and there'll be many other solutions to that problem, but it's a problem that cannot be ignored. And changing models are always a risk. However, at AIG, a company I spent 25 years of my life on, had a fabulous saying, the biggest risk is not taking one. Well, you know, the future of insurance company really depends on insurance companies, you know. I mean, you cannot stop the evolution and, uh, you know, uh, behaviors, customer behaviors are changing. So uh, they simply have to comply to how the society is changing and what people are uh, asking and demanding. So um, the future of insurance company can de depends a lot on how they will be able to uh, jump on the train, uh, which is already going. You know, there are a lot of startups out there who are doing uh, amazing stuff and they just need to have a look at those startups and partner with them, you know, to uh, try new models and, uh, and, uh, and improve their own company. Okay, now it's your opportunity, TI, to make a question to Eduardo. And please, Eduardo, you also have the opportunity to make a question to TI. So, Eduardo, how hard is it to create a ins new startup insure tech company in Italy? Well, TI, it's quite hard. I, I I will not make a secret of it. You know, um, I mean, Italy is uh, one of the less insured countries in Europe, and uh, you know there is a very traditional market. However, uh, we see it as a huge opportunity for us because we see it as a blue ocean, you know, of opportunities, and uh, that's why we are uh, living in uh, Italy as the market that would we want to be in. Uh, but yeah, it's a challenge every day. Uh, Ty, well, you know, some people say that uh, giving uh, the claim management to machines, you know, it's a kind of cold way to manage claims. You know, people, uh, um, they, they claim machines are not able to, uh, to find the frauds or machines are not able to be sympathetic, you know, with uh, policyholders when you have a fire on your house, for example, you don't want just to speak with a cold machine. But what, what's your opinion on this? There'll always be a need for human beings in some types of claims. And the example you gave is a good one. Uh, when your house burns down, you may want to talk to a person. On the other hand, you may just want the check to rebuild your house. You have your spouse, you have your family, uh, you have many people to talk to about uh, the misery of your house burning down. I I'm not sure your insurance person makes that list. But even at Lemonade, we have uh, physical human beings and claims and customer service for those people who want to talk to people. But if you lose your coat in a bar and you need 200 euros to replace your coat, most of the time you don't want to talk to a human being. You just want your check. Ty, please, give an advice to Eduardo and all the Italian uh, issue tech uh, startup here, please. I won't say anything other than what you already know, which is don't be afraid of challenges. When we were creating Lemonade, we had a number of challenges in front of us. We didn't know whether the customers would even like the business model. 
as we said, whether the dog would eat the dog food. We didn't know whether we could convince regulators. We didn't know whether we could convince rating agencies. But all those challenges were eventually overcome. And as we did in the United States, Aguado and all the insurers here in Italy, whatever your challenges are, you know, face them. If you ever find yourself saying, one day we really should, that day is today.